everybody, welcome back to the Lord of the Rings Online. This is Norlo here. Say hello to everyone, Norlo. Good boy. When last we left off, we were here Lair Dan. He was sending us on the trail of a Marthiel. We were gonna head to Kalinglad. Talk to him, the Ranger Kalinglad, over at the Rangers Camp in Tinundir. That is the camp of Rangers over in Evendim, which is the lake there in um on the shores of Anuminos. Lake even them on the shores of Anuminos, the ancient ranger city, the ancient capital of Arnor in the north, which we will take a look at here just as soon as we finish zoning back out into Angmar. We are trying to get one more episode done right here. It's about 5.30. They are doing a patch this morning from 7 until noon uh, Eastern time. As you see, we're right up here at Gathforthnir. We're going to zoom out. Angmar, we are headed over here to Evendim, right there. Like I said, north of the Shire and right here on Tindendur. Uh, Kalinglad should be right around in this area right here. Said we've been to Lake Evendim before. You remember the giant statues? It was right over here is where we talked to the blue lady. She was the one that had the uh, jewel that we had to get um, for the reforging of, uh, of, of uh, Narsal. So there you go. We are going to head back down the hill. If we've got to talk to Kalinglad, we are going to need a ride. So let's go down here to the Stable Master. And we are going to take whatever combination of rides it is going to take for us to get over to Even Dim. What do you need? Let's see. Estelden, Oghair, Gabil Shathur, and Rivendell. All right, I'm thinking Rivendell is probably the quickest way to get there. Probably Rivendell, and then to Bree, and then to the Shire, and then to Tenendir. But we shall see. Anyway, whenever we arrive over there, we shall rejoin you, and I'll let you know the path that it took to get there. Riding into Evendim and into Tenendir, that was exactly the path that we took. We rode up. Uh, swift travel down to Rivendell and then a swift travel over to Bree and a swift travel here to Tenendir. Alright. So as we come up on the stables, Kalinglad, I think if I remember correctly, he should be, I think he was the guy standing right there at the, at the uh, campfire. Kind of in the middle of the camp area here. If I'm remembering correctly. Yep, there he is. Kalinglad. Alright, let's talk to him. Let him know about Amarthiel. Current quest, book 9, chapter 4. What do you need? Lairdan and Goladir sent you, did they? There must be more than we thought to the growing presence of Amarthi of the Angmarum, then. I am glad, then, that they have sent me a proven hero to help. What do you need? All right, we got some more reputation with the Wardens of Anuminus. We haven't gotten very much of that since the last time we were over here. All right, Chapter 5, Marthiel's Hope. The Angmaran presence in Anuminus is most disturbing, and hearing the news you brought me, I think that it is the best place to search for a Marthiel. She cannot yet have gone too deep into the ruined city, and we cannot let her go any further. I will let you bring five of my men with you. Whatever you do, you must come back with information about her plans. This is most urgent for the Dunedain and for Eriador. We cannot let the Lidless Eye have any more influence in this region. Speak with me again when you are ready to leave. So we are to, to discover Amarthiel's plans at Anuminus. Okay. So it looks like we have... A solo instance coming up where we have to go into a Numinous with a group of five Dunedain. So let's see how it goes here. 
Yep, solo quest. Are you ready to search for Marthiel? My men have been ordered to protect you, no matter the cost. All right, let's take it on and see how this goes. Suspecting that Amarthiel, the champion of Angmar, has come to annuming us, a suspicion supported by the warning of the Elf Lairdom, the rangers of the north prepare to infiltrate the ruined city and put an end to her evil plans. All right, here we are in Anuminas. You can get there easily enough, whenever it's not in an instance. Right over yonder is the island of Tinendir. You can see the trees of it right over there. It's just a short little swim across the uh, across the lake or a little journey around the edge of the lake. And normally this gate here is open and not closed. And you can just come on in, although it's normally swarming with with Angmarum, as you see with the dead bodies here. Let us go ahead and talk to the ranger here and see what we can do. Are you ready? Hurry, they were ready for us. We must push through if we are to find a Marthiel before it is too late. Follow us. Let us proceed. Watch for the foe. Alright, new deed. The City of the Kings. Here's Minithrank, which is this courtyard here. Going down quick enough. Nice to have some rangers with us, some people who can actually handle themselves. Especially ones that can actually heal. Nice, nice indeed. Especially when they're gray to me. Lord, you're gonna let me kill any of them. <laughs> All of my servants shall be rewarded. There's a Marthiel. Welcome to Evendim, Narlo. A Numinous was once the shining jewel of the North Kingdom. From within its high walls, the kings of men kept watch over their lands. Oh, man of Mordor. Gone, gone, all gone now. The kings, the palantir they used. The people they protected. But fear not, Narlo, for my Dunedain friends. For I have brought a palantir to Numenos, and I will use it to look over my lands, as did the kings of old. That which was hidden from me shall be found, and all shall look upon a Martial in despair. Come, my loyal servants, my black Numenorians, there is much to be done within my new city. So do we get to fight her? Deal with them, Mogadur, I tire of their intrusion. It will be done, Lady of Martial. Alright, he's just a level 51, we can take him out easily enough. Let's heal up a little bit. Hello. There we go. Hey, come on here. Alright, heal again. He's gonna go down. here. Get a little positional damage in on him, too. 
That is, but I wish he'd quit doing it. And he is just about defeated here. Victory is ours, Mor uh, Narlo. Defeated Mogodur. Completed the instance of Marthiel's hope. Narlo, you have survived. Worry brought me hither, and I feared what I might find. Yeah, you're always a day late and a dollar short there, Kalinglad. We must return to Tinendir, Narlo. I fear that Amarthial has ruined this round. We must plan our next move, and quickly, so her victory will be short-lived. Amarthial, the champion of Angmar, has now also become its regent in the absence of Mordini. Under the lidless eye of Sauron, she has removed herself to the ruined city of Anuminas, seeking a power to strengthen her position. A dark time is coming for Eriador, a time which may only be averted through pain and grief. Hey, we got a Gandalf spoken cutscene at the end. That makes me think that we are finishing up chapter 9 here. Anytime you finish one of these movies, that's usually the end of a book. Let's talk to Kalinglad again. Bet he sends us back north to Angmar, perhaps. Or maybe over to Rivendell. Something like that. We'll be reporting to somebody, you know? Martial's Hope. Yep, to Rivendell. This is grave news indeed. I will send word to Elrond of Rivendell and to Goladir, my kinsman. We need help, and quickly, if Mordor is so deeply involved. Thank you for your help with this, and for dispatching one of Amarthiel's black Numenorean lieutenants. We have made a strike, but unless we follow it up with one more sure, Amarthiel will surely recover from it and seek to crush us utterly. All right, let's see what we're going to get. Uh, an uncut diamond. Mm, vitality, fate, resistance, will... Morale. I think I like the Fowl of Swirling Waters. Kalinglad's Ream. Vitality, Will, and Fate. That would be an upgrade. Miracore. Hmm. That would definitely probably be an upgrade. We'll take a look at that. And Kalinglad's Runestone which would not help us any. Let's go with Kalinglad's ring. We will replace the uh, ring of the green knoll with that. Okay. So completed that. We've got new deed. Shadow of Angmar Part 2. Let's see what that is. Shadows of Angmar Part 2. One of seven. Epic Book 9, The Shores of Evendim. You've completed the ninth book. All right, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six books left in Volume 1 here. Nice. All right, let's talk to Kalinglad. And it's going to be uh, Book 10, Chapter 1. Sense? There can be no greater insult than this, Narlo, for Angmar's foul regent to walk the stones that Elendil walked of old is an outrage for which there can be no forgiveness. Amarthiel's minions may hold a numinous for now, but the Dunedain shall not rest until she and all her servants are swept from its courtyards and the very flagstones wiped clean of their taint. While you were away, a visitor came to Tenendir. His name is Lairdan, and he is an elf of great reputation. My friend Goladir spoke very highly of him in our youth, though I had not met him before. He has been given the use of the mustering room and the keep here in Tenendir, and says he has information about a Marthiel that will be of use to us. He asks for you personally, Narlo. Hear what he has to say, and I pray that you will return to me with some secret lore of the elves that will aid us in this battle. Turn right as you enter the keep, and you will find Lairdan's room atop the stairs. All right, the champion of Angmar. 
let us go into the keep here. One of the few buildings that is still standing that the rangers actually use. Let us go in and see what Lairdan has to say. I love the inside of the keep here as well. Said it gives you a taste seeing here the uh, the 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 architecture of Anuminus and all. Right over yonder is the the actual city of Anuminus we've seen before. Gives you a taste of what the architecture of Gondor is going to be like, especially minus Tirith and all. Let's go on into the keep, Barret Basir. Love the inside here. Beautiful place, even in ruination. I think he said turn right when we get to the top of the stairs, if I remember correctly. There's a statue of Ellendale here in the reflecting pool. Quite a beauty. Light coming through the window up there, the seven stars, the twelve oak barrels, which we will definitely come back and uh, take a look at later. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, got our interface back on. Strangely enough, the you're probably hearing that little beep. The oh, I've never been back here stairs back behind it okay hmm wonder if you were ever intended to go behind that door or not interesting the beep you're hearing the f12 is what turns the uh, user interface on and off it's also in steam what turn what takes a screenshot so every time I turn the interface on and off, a screenshot gets taken, which isn't too bad. It's a pretty screenshot. Okay, let's continue up here, and this should be, hopefully, Lairdan's room. Yep, there he is. Nice fireplace. Wow, I'd love to have one like that in my house. Very sweet. Beautiful room here, yes indeed. Quite nice. Hmm. Well, I'm up here. Hello, Lairdan. Long time what no can see. I do for you? It is good to see you again, Narlo, but we seem cursed to meet always in sadness. The happier day of which I spoke in our last meeting, alas, has not yet arrived, and the day seem to grow darker still. Amarthiel has revealed herself and sits now in judgment within the ruins of Enuminas. Her armies fight within the streets and beneath the shadows of the towers against the Dunedain. This much you know, but there is more about Angmar's new regent than is known to Kalinglad and the rangers. I have written down much of the story in this letter. Read the tale and bring it to Kalinglad so he may decide what can be done. You must do this with the utmost speed, Narlo. More than the city of the Dunedain rest upon our answer to Amarthiel's challenge. So bring Lairdan's letter to Kalinglad. Easy enough. Let us take a look at it right quick. Kalinglad, I have set this tale in writing so you will understand the dangers that await not just Evendem, but all of Middle-earth, if the Dunedain should fail to stop Amarthiel's ambitions in Enuminas. The situation now seems grim, but it is with heavy heart that I must tell you that these dark days are nothing compared to the fate that awaits us should Amarthiel succeed in the errand she pursues. Have you heard whispers of the champion of Angmar? Such was the title Amarthiel bore at the height of her master's power, and before her the good people of the north quailed. The armies of the Witch King marched behind her in Fornost, and Fornost fell. Much of her strength came from a ring, Narkul, one of the lesser rings, as such things are counted, but still possessed of great power for evil. With Narkul upon her finger, all who befell 
Armarchiel lost any desire to stand against her. Some tried in vain to flee, while others set down their weapons, bewitched by her terrible beauty. All fell beneath her vicious blades, for Narcuo raised in the champion of Angmar a terrible bloodlust. There would be no mercy for the fallen. And yet hope was born upon the winds. The coming of Ionur out of the south and of Glorfindel from the west signaled a change in our fortunes. Fornost was retaken. Something happened to Amarthiel during the Battle of Fornost something her master Reaver expected. The champion of Angmar was defeated. History does not record the name of the elf who laid her low, beyond the guess that he was of Linden. But Amarthiel fell before his elf knives, and her ring was lost. Narkiel and Amarthiel vanished from all knowledge. The witch king fled, his forces routed. But now Amarthiel has returned from out of the darkness, and worse, she has obtained a palantir, one of the seeing stones of old. There can be no question. She will use it to learn the location of Narkiel, the ring she lost so long ago. Perhaps she has already done so. That must be the focus of your attack, Kalinglad. The Palantir must be taken from her. Amarthiel is a dangerous foe of herself, but if she reclaims Narkiel and strides at the head of her armies, the threat she poses will be magnified a hundredfold. This must not be allowed to happen. That the city has fallen to her is tragic, but the Palantir must be recovered at any cost, even should it mean the Dunedain lose a Numinus forever. I will ask my good friend to deliver this letter to you, but that is sadly all I can do. My part in this tale has been overlong already, and I weep for it. Laerdam. <sighs> Once again, we have the elves who will sit there and tell you what to do, but will take no part of it because we cannot get involved. Even though we caused all the trouble of Middle-earth, we refuse to get involved in fixing it. Here's your letter, Kalinglad. It basically says little more than F you. How can I be of service? Lairdan has written his thoughts down in a letter. Very well, let me see it. Lairdan would ask me to abandon the city to Amarthiel if it meant reclaiming the Palantir from her. He does not know what he is saying. Gulladir always spoke well of this elf, but now I must question his judgment. I will not leave Anuminus in the hands of the enemy. We will save both the city and the stone, Narlo, or we will save neither. That is my decision. How can I be of service? Book 10, Chapter 2, The Tide of Battle Forgive me, my angel. Anger, Narlo. It was not seemly. There is wisdom in Lairdan's words, but you must see the danger of leaving Anuminus to the Angmara. If we do not stop the Marthiel's ambitions here, beside Lake Nuniel, she will fortify the old city. Where then do you think her armies will go? Think of the Shire, a short march to the south, or of Trestlebridge to the east, already beset by orcs out of Angmar. We must turn the tide of the battle in our favor, Narlo, before we try to reclaim the Palantir. If we keep Amarthiel's attention focused on battles within the city, she will be forced to meet our challengers. She will have less time to use the Seeing Stone to find Narkiel. My heart tells me this is right, Narlo. If you stand with us, speak with Rosaloth and Anuminos. She will tell you how fares the battle. Pass through Minathrank in front of the city, and you will come to the courtyard of Gwaelband. Rosaloth would tell you what you can do to help in this fight. So we are to pass into Numenos and talk to Rosaloth. So that is what we will do next time. Chapter 2, The Tide of Battle. We are going to call it an episode right there. I am glad you all have joined me, and I'm glad we were able to get another one in before update 15.1 comes in. So we are going to try to get this up today. And I hope you all have enjoyed it. Thank you for watching, and we will see you next time whenever we go marching around back yonder where you see the shoreline on the far side of the lake, in through the gates, and looking for the ranger sentry inside the town itself, Rosaloth. So we'll see you then. Bye-bye.